Hey, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here either way. In today's video, I will show you how to make this invitation using Canva. Now you can use Canva Pro or you can use the free version of Canva. I'm using Pro, but you can edit this invitation in the free version of Canva. Now, if you are interested in this invitation, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how you can get this invitation set and the elements completely free. Now, in order to make this invitation, you will need the following. You're going to need cardstock. I will link it in the description box below. You will also need your glue or tape runner, and you will need a paper trimmer or some scissors if you have a straight hand. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. Stay tuned. All right, so once you receive the link from me to edit your template, what you're going to do is just come click the link that I sent to you in your email. It's going to open up automatically in Canva. Once it opens up, it's going to look something like this. Now, it's very easy to edit everything because everything is already laid out for you. So all you have to do is just come up here, edit your initials to whatever your name is let's say your name is um your spouse's name we'll say t and n then you just come down here you change your first and last name all right and it's very easy now if you want to go ahead and change your font, say you want your fonts on your name to be a different font, you would just click on the first font, hold your shift key, click on the second font, and then you can come right up here and choose the font you want to choose. All right, and then same, down, same thing down here, you can change all of the text. So I have it right now as a formal invitation. As you can see, the words are written out instead of using numbers. The only number that's in the actual invitation is the address here. Now, once you have everything set the way you want it, I just deleted my monogram by mistake. All right, let me go ahead and change that back first because I'm going to actually print this. So A and J, okay. All right, so once you have everything set the way you want it, you have everything, all your information changed, you can also change the colors. Now, when you change the colors, you can just click up here on the A and it will bring up the colors that are in the actual graphic here. So it will bring up all those colors here or you can use the regular colors. If you need more colors, you would just click on the plus button and you can choose your colors or your hex code if you have one. So now once you have everything set and changed to your liking, you will go ahead and hit download. Now, once you hit download, PNG um, is automatically suggested and that is the first one that comes up. You can do a PDF print. I sometimes like to do PDF print. If I'm going to be using um, cut marks, then I'll go ahead and do a PDF print. Otherwise, I'll just do a PNG. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to do a PNG. So you would go ahead and just choose your PNG, hit download, and it's going to download. So once it downloads, you're going to come up to your top or your bottom, depending on your computer's your computer configuration you're going to uh, click open file and come up to these three dots if you're using a windows computer if you're using a mac i'm not sure i don't know anything about macs except for the ipad that i have you're going to come up here and hit the three dots click on save as 
and then you can name your invitation, whatever you want. And just save it in a place that you'll know and remember where you save it at. Go ahead and hit save. And now you can close this page. Come back to Canva. And this time, come to the home page of Canva and click on create a design. Now, at this point, you're going to want to choose a custom size and you'll want it to be an 11 by eight and a half in inches. Now, if you're using Canva Pro, you'll be able to resize your, your invitation or stationery or whatever you're using. But if you're using a free version, you cannot resize it. So I suggest you make it the right size the first time or you'll have to delete it and start all over again. So this is going to be an 11 by eight and a half. I'm going to go ahead and hit create design. Now we're going to come over here on the left hand side to elements. Up in the search bar, click on grid or type in grid if you don't already have it in there and choose the first grid that comes up. Just click it and it will automatically go over on your canvas. Now, once you have it on your canvas, you're going to make it the invitation size. So for that invitation, I made it at a four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So you're going to drag this left bar all the way over until you hit four by eight or 4.8 and then drag it down until you hit 6.8. All right, then you could just slide it over. Make sure you select it, come up here and hit duplicate and then move this over also. Now you have a grid. So this way you can print two invitations on the same sheet of paper and not waste paper. I am all for not wasting paper. So you're going to do it this way. Now you'll come over here back to your left hand side and click on uploads. From there you can hit upload media, click on your folder, and then you're going to download or you're going to upload the invitation that you just saved on your computer. Once it comes up into Canva, you can go ahead and just click it and it will pop up over here. Put it in the grid. Now, before I add the second one, I'm, I will say that if you are selling um, a template on Etsy or you're selling a template to a client or something and you don't want the actual cloud in the background over here, you can just click on that. Come up here to your colors and change it to any color you want and you can sell it that way. So it's just like a blank canvas. All right, so now you're gonna go back over here to your uploads and just click it one time and it's over here again. And there you go, now it's two in place. Now you're ready to print. So you would just hit download, save it again as, or download it again as a PNG this time you can, um, it's called untitled. So just open the file and click on your print button up here. And you would go through your printer settings if it's not already set to an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You're going to want to print on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. That way you can print two invitations on one sheet of cardstock. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and print our invitation on one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, and we're going to cut and put it all together. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and show you the other designs that I made for this invitation. This is a fall invitation set. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I like to give things away for free. So I'm giving this whole template set away for free. This first set is going to be free completely free. It comes with the invitation, the reply card. It comes with the table number, the menu. So let me show you these things while I'm just talking. The invitation, all right, comes with the table number. It comes with, oh, wrong one. That's another video. 
coming up. It comes with this reply card. It comes with a menu card. And it will also come with a program and it will come with um, a thank you card, which I have not made yet. But if you do want to go ahead and get this set for completely free, all you have to do is email me. My email is in the description box below. Just shoot me an email and I will go ahead and send the link to you so you can download and edit this template to your own information. And it's free, whether you're selling invitations or you are making your own invitations, it's completely free. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. All right, let's go ahead and print our invitation and cut it and put it together. All right, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and I printed out my invitation. Um, ignore this part here. This is for the next video but I just wanted to go ahead and print each one now. So I'm gonna cut this one here for this video. And this invitation is gonna be a four and three quarter by six and three quarter. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cut our backing color, which I'm using paper from the paper source. Um, it's just readily available here in New York. So I'm going to be using their paper versus having paper shipped to me and having to wait. So I just have a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I'm just gonna cut it down to a five by seven. All right, we have our invitation cut. Now you do not have to use this color for your invitation. Um, I just thought that this color would actually look nice with it. What I'm gonna do now is just turn it on the back and take our tape runner and just run it on all four sides of the invitation. And there you have it. Now I will say you do not need to add the backing to the invitation. The invitation is fine by itself without the backing. I just like to add a backing card sometimes just to add like a little extra color or a little pop or you know just a little extra thickness or something but you do not need the backing paper. Um, it's fine just by itself with just the white. All right that's all I have for today. If you like this video and I hope you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That does help my videos to reach more people. And please consider subscribing to my channel as I'm trying to reach a thousand subs. Once I do, I will be doing a big giveaway. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And don't forget, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I upload. Until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.